Hi guys, Frank here with Motorsports Land here in Salt Lake City. We're at 4001 South State. Here to walk a, uh, another travel trailer out with you. It's a Keystone hideout uh, made by Keystone. Um, looking at the 26 bunkhouse. Uh, two double over double bunks. We'll get inside and check that out. Nice little floor plan set up. You look at dry weight around 69.90 to be exact on your dry weight. Um, and we're gonna do some uh, benefit walkthrough features around here. Starting right off the front door, um, you're looking at your solid steps. These actually flip up inside now. We're ordering these with the solid steps, little adjustable legs for some, uh, some creative off-ground camping. <coughs> Has a little uh, little bottle opener and a leash latch right here. They just added that, which is a cool little uh, assembly. Um, looking at the electric awning, you can see how light this thing glows. It's just beautiful. LED lights up underneath the awning. Um, also en enables you to have those lights when the uh, awning is put away. So a lot of lights are now, uh, some companies putting them up on the barrels of the actual awning. So you have to have your awning rolled out. These are actually fastened to the coach itself. Um, when the awning is pulled back, you can still use those LED lights for your, uh, your outside lighting. Um, two outdoor speakers, they are lit up right now. Pretty cool looking, but they are weatherproof outdoor speakers. Uh, we do have, just in this section alone, coming down to your uh, fresh water fill, your 60 gallons of fresh water from Boo Dockers uh, that are out there looking to not hook up to anywhere. 60 gallons of fresh water, that's pretty nice. Have that amount of water out there, a lot of showers for the ladies. Um, you do have two 110 outlets and your cable TV output right here. So if you have a table set up here, you want to plug your TV in, set it up, watch a game, watch a fight, watch a car race of some sort here, you can do that. Um, you can also mount a mount up here if you want to for a little quick, uh, quick mount for a television set. So moving down to the bottom, we do have your, um, your tires. And the reason why I want to talk about this is these come with the Easy Lube hubs. Most people won't talk about it. Uh, it's a nice little feature to have. You pop off this little cap right here. Underneath here, you're gonna have a greaser. Every, depending on how your use is, every three, third or fourth time out, it's nice to pop that greaser on there. Give it about three or four squirts is all you need. It kind of greases back into that back bearing, pockets into the front bearing, and both get greased and both get nice. As you're cruising, little tip, as you're cruising down the road, you stop off somewhere to use a restroom for your kiddos or to go get something to eat, walk around, fill your hubs. Always nice, if they're super hot, stop, have somebody look at them. So that, that avoids a lot of uh, creative mess down the road. Um, coming out to, this is an electric awning too, so coming out to this, these are uh, adjustments that we have. So when this awning is completely out, um, it does have a shock absorber here, so you can see how that works. As that wind is blowing, it'll actually keep pushing that out, so you can actually bring that back in with control so it's not getting all uh, wound up really, uh, really weird. But nice to have all this feature, it all makes sense, and we'll walk this through when you come in and check these out. Um, looking right here, this is uh, probably a nice key feature. We are ordering these, like I said, with the solid steps and with the electric stabilizing jacks. So these are not gonna be auto leveling by any means. So in the market, people say auto leveling. This is gonna be, they come down together, which is really nice, aside from hand cranking each one, but the electric stabilizing jacks will stabilize your coach. So if you're on a, a bit of a tilt on your, on your ground where you're camping at, um, you wanna beef up the other side with a couple of plates or a couple of chunks of wood so everything's level and comes up and stabilizes. Rock solid when that thing sits up. Through storage, you can see that. Put the kids in here, the dogs, the mother-in-law, we're not sure, but anyway, this is a nice, open, huge storage area. You can store a lot of stuff in here. As you can see, this well lit as well. Um, we've got a little uh, light switch we're inside of here. Coming down to the uh, marker lights. Now this section right here, which you probably won't see on older trailers, this is something new. This is housed for a backup camera. So you are set on this housing, take that off. Um, it's gonna have a two conductor wire on there. You can pop on a side camera. Uh, we do have cameras here we sell in our, our parts store and they will have the camera and additional, they'll have the, the side indicator marker cameras as well. So as soon as you get your indicator, this is gonna pop on, see what's on your right or left hand side. Pretty cool. Pretty ingenious and they wire that up for you. Coming up here, first thing I want to go to is your industrial's best three year structural warranty. This is awesome when it comes to Keystone. Um, it just really, talk about this with your salesman, talk about it with your finance personnel, um, additional warranties, but it's nice it comes with that three year structural. It comes with a 12 year structural warranty, um, your warranty on your roofing as well, and then one year on appliances on the inside of the coach. 
Now, we do have this diamond plate comes up nice and high. What this is for, for people who don't know, going over some gravel, going over some, you know, some roads with some gravel or rocks on there, the rock chip prevented, prevention right there, ting off of this is not gonna damage anything. Um, you do have your aluminum siding on your front too. I like how they do the two, three, the three, three sections on this um, instead of the ribbed across. This makes it very easy for cleaning. This is where your bugs end up. You catch a lot of bugs on this front. This is kind of like almost a, um, I wouldn't say Teflon, but it's got a little bit of a coating on there where it, it makes it a lot easier to spray off and clean, wash off and clean the bugs. And uh, we're campers, we know about bugs, they're gonna end up on your front of your coach. We got this, uh, two propane tanks in here. We got two seven and a half gallon propane tanks. We do fill these for you on purchase. Um, electric stable, uh, electric front tongue jack. And this is really nice. You're not hand cranking once again. Yes, we're making it easy for you campers out there, but it's okay. Um, LED light at, uh, for nighttime hookups. Uh, bright, brightens up everything up front here. And of course, just the spectacular decals on, on the, the hideout now. These guys are making this uh, you know, just look really sharp, really classy look. Coming around the side here, this is the other look as we talked about uh, as far as your, your outside lights, your marker lights where you can put your camera again. Second door, same size cabbage door, or, or, uh, door here for your storage. So you're not having a little tiny, tiny door sitting right here and the big one on the other side is nice to get. You can actually reach in there and grab all your stuff. Um, slide out, uh, we've got a nice, huge, it's a huge slide out. It's a, you know, we go inside, we're gonna see this. You got your dinette and your uh, your couch in that slide. And we do have the uh, Schwintech system. It's been tried and true. It's been here for a long time. It's uh, just a solid, solid slide system. They do have this and may not uh, notice that a lot of people do ask when that slide is out. And some people leave them out uh, at the side of their house when they have guests or whatnot. But this rubber seal goes all the way around and it acts like a squeegee. So if you do have some wet weather when you're camping, you bring this in, this will flip on the inside as you're bringing this in and squeegee off all that water on the top and the roof as well uh, and the side walls. So a nice little, it's not a really hard rigid rubber. Um, a lot of people don't talk about it, but it is a really important feature for your slide out. And it's nice how Hideout Keystone does this, uh, puts that on there. It's not a uh, brittle, so it's gonna break, kind of uh, squeegee. On over here, you see the two big windows on the outside of the slide. We just love this. It's a uh, pocketed windows um, and they are sliders on the inside so you do get ventilation through there but as you're sitting at your couch or your or your dinette having that breeze blow through the light reading a book anything like that really enhances that and you do have your blinds on the inside too we'll check that out when we go in coming out to each bunk has its own window so as you're looking outside and you see deer out in the meadows or whatnot um, you know both the uh, uh, kids are, are sharing that experience, but it's also nice to have a little ambient light coming into their bunks, not the claustrophobic look um, or feel, and they are sliders, so you get a little bit of ventilation through there as well. Um, additional storage, they did this, we love it. It's underneath the bunk bed in the back. This is a massive other secondary storage area. Um, you're looking to put you know, whatever you want. You know what you're bringing with you. Um, a lot of extra storage always helps. Um, you got your underneath here, this is gonna be your, your black and gray uh, drop out for your, your clean up of your tanks. Um, it does come with a black tank flush. What that is is a big power sprayer that just sprays over top of the black tank when you hook a hose up to the outside. We'll walk through that with you. It's a nice feature to have. Um, but everything right here at, at your convenience, one pull up, uh, you know, not separating your, your hoses, pull off uh, you know, your clean out station and, uh, and dump it out. And we'll walk all that through you when you, you know, through with you when you come up, walk through us with uh, one of these coaches. Um, I like how they do this. They put the, they put your, uh, your, your shower back here. So this is going to be a, a hot and cold outside shower. So if you did one or two, a tent located, they actually have vinyl tents. I've seen all kinds in the market, which is pretty cool. Set up out here. You can actually utilize this. You can actually put a mount for the hose and handle set up here. I've seen people do that as well, um, where you can just have this as an external shower, spray off the dogs, spray off the kiddos, feet, uh, anything like that. Um, comes up with uh, your city water connection right here. This is where you parked into a park anywhere. You go to KOA, for example, hook up here. You got unlimited water, nice, easy hookup. Hook your hose up, you're good to go. Um, it is housed and wired for backup camera. Um, once again, this is going to be the same kind of setup where we have on the side marker lights up front. This will be your main backup camera and then the 
two lights will feed off of this through uh, RF signal and read back to your screen up front. Um, really that simple. Uh, no other connections that you need to do, no other wiring you need to do, it's just a hook up and go. So plug and play. Uh, full size spare tire on the back bumper and uh, that's nice to have. It's not a skinny little donut where you're uh, you know, just getting to point A, it's actually travel to your destination with this if you want. Uh, suggestions on, on uh, we do put a cover on this, Motorsports Land tire cover, look nice and sharp, but uh, nice to have a spare tire always at your convenience. So we talked about that black tank flush, some call it Santa flush and whatnot, but this is where it is. When you go to dump your coach, uh, this actually hooks up to anywhere you go dump is going to have or should have a water spigot. So you hook up to here, this just screws onto your hose, go up to your uh, main water, turn that on. This will go through your coach to your black tank and it's like a big power head, sprinkler head that just sprays down everything. And uh, now it, it, it's, it's a nasty thing to think about, but as you're traveling, there's a lot of sloshing going around. We want to get those all off the sensors that are inside. We want to get it all off the walls. We don't want to build up that bacteria for a time down the road. Two weeks later, you're going camping, go to flush the toilet to go wash and clean, and you get what's called a trailer fart. Uh, that's in the business, and we don't want that built up. This alleviates that. Talk to us about it. It's a really nice feature to have, and we order them on probably about 99% of our trailers. Coming on the inside, guys, let's go take a look. And uh, just before we enter in, I do want to show you this. It's our, our cameraman is not going to get up underneath, but I'll explain it. Cold Mountain Package. What that is, it's a wrapped underbelly, thick corrugated plastic that pockets in a bunch of insulation that houses everything underneath this coach, which is nice. Um, holds that heat in, you turn your heat on, it's kind of got forced air into the underbelly, wrapped tanks, and it's, it just pockets that warm air. So that helps um, from keeping that breeze coming through there and freezing up your pipes up to about 23 degrees or so. Um, does help for a cold mountain package uh, for camping. Come on in. We're gonna start clear to the back here. I love how they have this room from here to the ceiling. You go camping, uh, and it's in, it, it, you have your kids in here, you can sleep probably a couple of kids on a double over double, but you go look at other uh, competition and we have bunk beds that are so high and so tight to the ceiling that you just don't have that room. Now kiddos are pretty flexible, sit up in bed and do whatnot, but you do want to give them that non-claustrophobic look. And we talked about the blinds and the windows on each, uh, each bunk house. Ladder already set on here, so it's not a kick out ladder. It's gonna fall in the middle of the night, make some noise and scare people. But you do have nice, uh, two nice big thick mattresses too. So, and this is where your storage is on the outside underneath this bed. There is no access on the top. A lot of people will ask that, but through the sidewall only underneath the bed for your storage. I'm um, coming into the back here. You do have your tub with shower, um, your actually foot pedal toilet, and in your sink in the corner, brushing your teeth with a little vanity sitting up top with a full fan uh, set up and, and vent up top there, which is nice. So um, you get some good ventilation through there. This is what uh, a lot of major feature here, which is cool, big pantry. Um, a lot of people are looking for space, always looking to put their, you know, their, their food, their storage area. Nice big pantry. This goes in a little bit there too, um, but nice uh, shelves. You can position these shelves, either take them out if you want. You can always put a coat hanger right here where you can remove these and actually hang your clothing. So very versatile for a, for a pantry and storage area. Comes with a nice big eight cubic foot refrigerator. Um, just the, uh, the, the polar refrigerators, these work uh, nor cold, they just work amazing. Um, you can travel with them on if you would like going down the road. A lot of people are opposed to that, to having gas running, but you can, and uh, I've got one myself and they work awesome. You can make ice cubes in the freezer. Now, the truth to that is that these just work so efficiently um, with your propane, and then when you're plugged in, it just goes to electric. So you can cool this down a couple days before your trip while you're plugged into your house. Um, have everything chilled down, cooled down, loaded, ready for your trip, unplug, turn your gas on, come over here, and a little trick of the trade, uh, bleed your um, propane line, turn one of your burners on. Have that on for about maybe 30 seconds, shut that off, then click over, turn this on the gas. So you're pulling that propane to this location through your line, and then it's only got a short spot to go to to light your refrigerator. I don't know if you knew that, but uh, always a good little feature. We'll go over that with you when you come in. So your stove, three burner stove with an oven, nice little oven, little pizzas, and you make your whatever you think you can make in that uh, that spot right there. But it is pretty versatile, and it's nice to be able to make fresh cookies while you're out there. I know my wife does, and 
a microwave oven. You got your microwave set up top there. Very convenient, nice little counter space. Window up here set up for your, now they, they actually do the fabric blinds everywhere else but the kitchen. The reason why is because we have to have metal here for any kind of spray back, any kind of fire retardant um, set up up here, so safety purposes. Nice backsplash sitting up here, but little, little uh, window. Now these little turn on the, on the faucet itself. Um, nice big sink. Looked at these, uh, you know, going into uh, counter space with something like this. You can always utilize your table as well as what I do with mine on my slide out. And you can actually prep, you know, and use your counter space. And if you're not cooking anything at the time, you close this up, which is nice. The glass top turns into more counter space. Uh, very versatile. Coming down here, this does have a central vac system. We do give you the hoses and the attachments with this uh, coach as well. Very simple, take this, plug it in. Once you're done, you can actually take this off and just dump the bag just like a regular vacuum cleaner and go back to town with it. Pretty cool little setup. Um, coming up to the, uh, the vents in the floor. So this is what I was talking about as far as your, your venting. Your, your water lines run close to these where it goes into your bathroom. Uh, within spec and code, they run cl very close to that. And that's gonna have that forced air to the underbelly where you're gonna have your heat dispersed into that uh, pocketed uh, area where we talked about where it's all insulated. Um, nice to have that. You can get uh, vent covers for these if you want to, where you can take these off in case kids are dropping things inside of them. There's a couple of pre preventions for those, but we could do that for you as well. Coming into your uh, booth, this is gonna pretty nice little feature here. You can drop this down. A lot of people know this, some people may not, but this becomes another bed. So you pull these out. These will be your fillers, pillows for your, when this drops down low, these two fill inside here. This becomes another place for rest and sleep. And this pops in together and come in for breakfast. A little breakfast table. This is gonna be a jackknife sofa. So as you're sitting down here, you got this, your cup holders, kicking back, reading a book. Once again, just plenty of light and you're talking about your window opening up you just pull this slider open and you got a lot of ventilation coming through here a lot of light coming through here kick back so we need to turn this into a quick bed you got a storm brewing outside kids out in the tent happens to me all the time three o'clock in the morning rainstorm hits and they need a spot to sleep it just takes you a few seconds drop that down you got yourself a bed to sleep on um, coming into the uh, front of this, so we do have an area here for a television set. So we have all your cable TV hookups. We do have your uh, little setup where you have your HDMI hookup through here or USB ports where you can play movies. Um, we do have your cable TV through the outside. So if you had a park or satellite system hooked up, it'll come through here. Obviously your two ton, 110 outlets. Backer plate set up for a mount TV fireplace just gorgeous setup and ambiance in here this will throw heat so a lot of people think it's just a it's a it's an electric so it's not propane it's cool to the touch but it will warm up and take the little nip out of the air um, inside your coach so acts, uh, acts actually as a heating source as well coming into the bedroom I do have which is pretty cool a little hamper set up in here so this actually goes down to the actual storage down below so you can put your basket down there and all dirty clothes and actually cover this back up again and that's your hamper setup. Um, your storage for your clothing in here and then you do have storage up underneath your bed. So there's your vacuum set up, your hoses and attachments for your central vac. And we do have a couple of slider pocket doors as we back up here I'll just to uh, snap this off and what you do here is <clears throat> do you snap the pocket door so as you're traveling you probably want to keep this snapped up closed and you just close that up for privacy on both sides and keep mom and dad sleeping and, and uh, comfortable for a little while on your trip but guys I'd love for you to come down and walk through this coach with us or many more that we have on our lot we'd be happy to help you out once again Frank with Motorsports Land and we'll see you on the lot let Motorsports Land guide you.